Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. This is Radar's Whiskey Road. And today we're gonna to try Canadian Mist. Canadian Mist is kind of interesting because it is, what is it, it's made in Kentucky. Uh, it's actually made in Canada and then... Oh, it's, it's made in Canada and bottled in Kentucky. Uh, specifically Louisville. So I'm gonna have myself about a finger of this. Just enough to cover the stones. Would you like to pour yourself some, sir? You can have a, whatever amount you prefer. Um, as I, I've said before, stones are superior to ice. However, they cool off, or they warm up a lot faster than ice. So if you're going to enjoy your whiskey with stones, try to enjoy it just a little bit faster. We're gonna look at it, and it's a little bit darker than your average bourbon, but it's not really bourbon, it's whiskey. It's whiskey. So, I've not actually had Canadian mist. Would you it's like to smell? Uh, it smells really mellow. I've had Canadian mist before. It smells mm. mellow. That is really mellow. Um, it smells about like the air in Bardstown. To be quite very, honest. Very light. Um, very light vanilla smell. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of vanilla. There's a little bit of honey. A little bit of charred wood in there. Um, would you like to have a taste? Yes. Oh my goodness, that is sweet. That is very sweet. That's, um, that's interesting. Um, you can, it's very vanilla-y. Yeah, um, it's sweet, it's a good blending. It's a good blending whiskey. I would imagine it would go well with, with different types of Coke and, um, Seltzer water, maybe. That's why I say it's a good blending whiskey. I've had it before. Um, it doesn't burn right off the bat. It gets you towards the end. Mm -hmm. um, it's warm. And it doesn't get up in your nose like some whiskeys do. Um, it's not harsh by any means. Mm -hmm. um, no. It's pretty smooth. That's a really interesting whiskey. Um, that's really interesting. It's... Like I said, it's not for the price. This is now. This is a price-wise. I'm not saying the whiskey's a lower in whiskey. Price-wise, this is a relatively inexpensive whiskey. I mean, it's it's at the soluble below Jim Beam level. You're talking ten, twelve bucks for a fifth. Well, it depends on what type of uh, what type of Jim Beam you're talking about. It's I think it's better than white label. I'm talking I don't think about it's as good as black label. Okay, as far as Jim Beam goes, the most common Jim Beam is white label. That's what you're going to see most people use for mixed drinks. That's true. Um, most people, if you see it at a party or a wedding, they're going to have white label. Mm -hmm. Black label is something I'd keep in a liquor cabinet. Um, mm -hmm. If you know, for I would definitely keep a bottle. I, well, actually, I do keep a bottle of black label generally. And it takes a while for me to go through a bottle of black label. We're not doing black label right now. We're doing Can uh, Canadian Mist, which is really good. Um, what would you uh, rate this area? Hmm. Just for the strangeness, for the incredible sweetness that goes along with this, I want to rate it as like a seven, uh, because it's just not like the uh, the type of bourbon or the type of whiskey that I normally drink. I'm gonna have to go six point five on this. It's pretty good, um, but I, like I said, I'm, I don't. I the only whiskey I drink on the rocks or bourbon is Woodford Reserve. So. Um, I can't wait for this Woodford review. You've had Woodford, haven't you? I've had Woodford. You had it at our bachelor party. Actually. I smashed a bottle of Woodford once. I had I had a hand I had a liter of Woodford that I. A dropped. liter of Woodford is forty seven ninety nine hey. for people and TV land at home. A, a typical fifth of Woodford is thirty two ninety nine. <laughs> um, it's it's pretty it's pretty pricey and that, that's enough to cry over. I smashed a bottle of Woodford. Well, anyway, we digress. Um, it's, if you want to go inexpensive, I don't like saying cheap, but if you want to go inexpensive. Canadian Mist would be definitely the way to go um, if you like a smooth whiskey. The smooth, light, uh, sweet, and then, like I said, it's great to mix with yeah. beverages. Like yeah. I said, I want, it's, not a sip, it's not a sipping whiskey. Let's leave it at that. It's, mm, no, I wouldn't sip this. Yeah, it's not a sipping whiskey, but. Anyways, we appreciate your view. 
and we'd like you to uh, like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And if you'd like to see us try pretty much any type of alcohol, it's not over. It's that's overly. not incredibly expensive, and that we can get a hold of. Um, we'll try and do a video on that. Uh, in the meantime, you guys have a good day.